Oh. Hey, we're back. I'm back. Hi. No, but like I was saying, it's complicated. I don't think it's complicated, but it is complicated. Oh, oops. I didn't, I didn't really do much of anything. I just kind of stood around for a few minutes. Looks like it was just a slight drop in upload speed for my ISP. Honestly, not the worst hiccup I've ever had. I also noticed my upload speed is kind of insane now when it came back. Which, cool, I guess? <laughs> Boink. I need uh, more inserters. What are we doing here? We are doing really good. Now we are cooking with gas now. Quite literally, actually. We are pretty much, with this new level of automation, we are pretty much out of green tier entirely. Oh, uh, he's here to pick up um, inserters. Let's do that. I still have a bunch of the level one inserters. We won't have to make those for a very, very long time. We're very close to producing what I set out to do with this factory. And that is the particle canister.
This small stockpile is gonna be fucking massive. Watch this. I'm gonna back this up so freaking hard. This is a decent start to rotor production. I think we could input them even faster. Yeah, we definitely could. Still not very much. Jesus, man. This is unproliferated, too. Like, that's the craziest part. I need to go get more. I also need to drop off my old replicators. We don't need those anymore. We're done with the old school replicators. I doubt I'll ever need them again. Where am I building these? I'm building them over here. Boop. We definitely don't need these anymore. Let's open this up a little bit more. What is this eating? Uh, it is eating microprocessors. That's fine. I'll bet you this is full. Yeah, 10,000 microprocessors on backup. We are gonna local supply that for sure. Okay. We want to produce as many of these as possible. With the end goal being strange matter. This is pretty fucking impressive, honestly. The fact that this can keep up with it means that I've built some great factories off base. Although the, um, we're not really bringing in enough iron plates yet. And as soon as I make the demand higher for iron blades we're gonna have some problems but until then also we might once this is done 
we might need we'll probably need another rotor uh this is making what are they called magnetic coil we'll probably need another magnetic coil factory we probably will not be able to leech off of the ones that are going in here so a second magnetic coil factory is probably uh probably for the best I need this to kick back on though. Just for the moment. What we can do is bring these bad boys around and start making some and just like get it under control as far as like production and then we can reconfigure recut things I think we will raid maybe a random person unless somebody really want to raid us on tonight we shall see. We'll run a line. And just for the moment, I'm going to feed this back into the system. Or into a local network. And the reason being is that I want to kind of fill up. There's a lot of stuff around that needs magnetic turbines. So we'll see. And again, I feel like we could produce a lot more than that. Do I have any spare bots? I don't. I don't know if anything planet side is requesting the magnetic turbine specifically. Wow, that's filling up fast. This should honestly... Uh, let's do this really quick. This should be this for the time being. Is this going to produce a ton of electromagnetic turbines? I like how half of this planet is doing nothing but producing electromagnetic turbines. That kind of shows they're, they're in very high demand and maybe should be tuned down just a little bit. Just a, a thought. Okay, we should get these out of there. Like, am I actually going to back up on electromagnetic turbines? That'd be sick. Let me get these gear. I'm going to slowly start getting stuff out of my inventory. Still can't get the rings out of my inventory. Maybe I can put them in here.
Or anything like uh, auto click like uh, Factorio has so you can kind of spread them out would be sick. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we get this all under control. And then we will see just how much it's eating. Like right now, it is eating all. Oh, check this out. Holy shit. Check this out. Zoo wee mama. That's a lot of electric motors. Holy fuck. Wait, 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 hold up. Can you stack these? You can stack these? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that's a legal move. Yeah. Here come the boys. They're like, oh, there's electromagnetic turbines. Let's fucking go. Boss put electromagnetic turbines back on the menu. Look at how many ships are moving stuff from Zippo 4. Like, oh, damn. A lot of resources, baby. The Forge World is starting to produce. Praise Omnisaya. So while this is all well and good, the goal is not to build... Um, let this get to 1200. See if it takes another load. And again, this still isn't... It could be producing more. Like, we haven't maxed out the potential yet. The goal with this is to make the particle container. So we want to do that here. And we have the deuterium and everything here ready to go. It's insane how fast that's feeding. How are we doing here? Yeah, so now that the chest is empty, we could definitely produce more electromagnets or magnetic coils. This is not tapped. We could definitely produce more. We're producing a lot. We're almost producing a full blue belt, which is insane to me. So this could be expanded to produce more. I think we're still bringing in enough stuff. Although we may need more ships. That's okay. But I can tell you right now, these bad boys are going out. Yeah, let's go take a look at main base. Stuff that we can't just tear down just yet. Cruise mode. Yeah, that ship was bringing particle containers back to the forge. That's awesome. Another thing we need to put into the system is the excited plasma contain containment systems. The excited plasma container. That is required for a couple critical components. The ruse ended. Have a good night, Dice. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hope you were enjoying the stream. Bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -da. We'll start cleaning up power poles. My favorite pastime, by far. Mm -hmm. 
whack down a big power pole. Uh, a substation, as it were. One thing that really irks me when playing Factorio with other people is that people will not bother to use substations. Like, they're... I've used them so much, they... Oh, God. I can't live without them. We need to get this stuff out of here. It just needs to go into the system and be distributed. Hmm. A lot of this stuff can be torn down as well. We're not making science anymore. Honestly, this stuff too, we're kind of just wasting our coal on like these measly little power stations that aren't doing anything anymore. This never worked, by the way. We should have just gone straight solar power from the start. That's not doing anything. There's this stone mine here. Honestly, I want this stone mine to continue making steel or... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, foundation. I think what I will do... What is this mess? What is this doing? I think because there were other buildings here, that's why this is so spaghetti. Let's clean up, let's clean up our spaghetti. That's right, chat. I'm cleaning the spaghetti up. What are we gonna do about it? No more spaghetti. I will leave certain systems set up because there's a very good chance. They're probably still, yeah, this is, this is the yellow science. Might as well start upgrading everything as well. The more we upgrade stuff, the more we get blue or green belts just out of our system entirely. Okay. Yeah, this hasn't built any more Corvettes. Because it needs microprocessors. I think I cut the microprocessors. Yeah, I cut them for sure. Yeah, there's none in transit. We would remote demand here. And we'll cap it at 600. And this belt right here needs them. Uh, I, I would like to start producing Corvettes again because we are gonna have to go on the offensive soon. I don't want to go crazy. I just want to produce some Corvettes. A small shipment of microprocessors is not going to kill everything. All right. I also know that we have large stockpiles of uh, the processor's everywhere. Let's carve this up. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to giga mine this to get rid of it. But you can kind of layer these. I haven't really bothered yet because that's like a whole different level of logistics. Of trying to like slam as many miners onto a, a node as possible. But it's something to consider in the future because you could really, if there's like a single node, you could really get a lot of miners around it. And that would produce a ton of resources. So what I'm gonna do here 
is turn this into diamonds. Because we are going to need a ton, a ton of diamonds in the future, and I might as well do that. Pretty sure it's graphing to diamonds. I will not waste any resources. The Fix-It Company would be proud. For those of you enjoying uh, Satisfactory, I hope you guys are having a good time over in the Satisfactory land. Again, it's just not something that I'm gonna pick up right now because I, I am already playing three automation games. And I definitely, I, I will say behind the scenes, I'm definitely feeling the burn. Um, I probably should not have started. Um, not the modded series, because that was a reward. I'm trying to think of what I shouldn't have started. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Diamonds. We will just slurp up the rest of this bowl and turn it into diamonds. we go. All gone. We do have a ton of spare diamonds. I'm not, I'm not really worried about it. I just want to, uh, mine that up. We can take this down. There's a lot of glass. Let's not waste any more. Yeah, the base is coming a very long way. It's almost recognizable. Where are the spare chests? Where are they? They should be right here. Are they over a little? They're over here. Where the hell did I put them? Where are the junk chests? I know right now if I don't put the stuff in the junk chest, I'm never gonna find it again. Where are they? They should be right here. There it is. I'm blind. There's like a lot of little goodies in here. That we'll have to dig out and like manually sort eventually. Like I can take all the ammo out of here and take that with me. As we kind of have a storage bin for that on the other planet, on the Forge World. That has a place. I got there's still wood and uh, other things in here that are, are really not necessary. Yeah, I want to go. I want to get rid of these depots at some point. Um. Right, we were going to check on the particle containers. See what's going on there. What's going on here? Yeah, let's see what's happening here. Oh, now we're just lacking copper. What is this? What the hell is this making? Better question, why is it making? 
But it's making microchips. Are those microchips going into the system? Yeah, so that needs to stay active. This should temporarily help. Yeah, a better factory for uh, particle containers is the next thing on the list, because this is... All of this is behind the times. We're using old buildings, old things... a full chest we definitely want to pick that up pretty sure there is a request in the system for this stuff if I put it into a temporary tower it will disappear what's this taking let's dump it all in here This was our temporary laser, uh, what, what you call it? Laser turret production. Uh, when we were trying to push dark fog off planet, we decided that we needed laser turrets. And thus, we made many, many, many laser turrets. Pretty sure these are being requested somewhere. We'll take a look. Once they hit 600, we'll know. Interesting that they can't carry half loads. I would like them to just be carry, able to carry, like if there is some in a container, like it should just go. Hey, there is no request in the system. That's interesting. This is way more than 10,000. So that might go somewhere and do something. We'll get rid of these. We are not constructing solar sails anymore. Not here anyways. Uh, solar sail construction will take place somewhere else. I might still do it here in the future. Yeah, that's graphene. Yeah. It's cleaning up the old planet. This planet is going to become a liquid plant, basically. Once we strip everything down and move it to the forge world, all it's going to do is produce liquids. Like, that is its end goal. Yeah, it's still not getting very much copper. And the uh, temporary boost to the copper production was not what it needed. What is this doing? This ain't doing much of anything, so it is now going to supply that. The particle container production is a much, 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 
much, much, much higher priority. I still don't know what the hell past me did here. I, I don't want to look at that until I have room to just tear it down. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Whatever the hell past me was doing, he was not thinking it through. I probably had my reason at the time. I will leave it connected, you know, just in case. What's going on here? Hello? Oh, there we go. Sweet. I don't know where that was coming from. I guess this was building staters and probably for this. Yeah, it was producing uh, engines and producing rockets. All this can be tore down. This again was where I would like, I get that you can use the little selector thing, but I, I would, I would just like to be able to like say to my bots like, hey, remove all of this that I looked at. Rockets do need to be, or uh, engine units do need to be made, but they need to be put into the system. They don't need to be built on site anymore. Same thing with plasma exciters. Most, the thing is most of these here were there to either produce ammunition or produce buildings, which we are going to do in the forge world. So we don't need these buildings anymore. The only thing they need to do is produce uh, the raw materials, so rings or particle containers or anything else. Also, I'm going to upgrade these. Can I? we go. Just for the moment, as these are so important to production, I will upgrade them. But the goal is not to use these for very much longer, I'll be honest. But seeing as they are going to be producing for the foreseeable future until I get proper production set up elsewhere, I will upgrade them. See, even with the double production of the electromagnetic turbines that we are currently doing, we are still not meeting the demand of one interstellar logistics station. This is, in my opinion, something that the devs kind of need to tweak a little bit. Like, these should either not be this expensive, or they should only be used in fewer items, because they're used in, like, seven or eight items, I feel. They're used in a lot of items. Yeah, there we go. Surprise, motherfucker. Welcome to Light Fire Station. It's good to see you. Welcome back. Love the name. I feel like despite you not being a first-time chatter, I feel like I would remember such a, a, a fantastic name. Look at this garbage. Well, I see the problem. Ah, okay. I like 
your new name. It is very nice. So, uh, we're just gonna reverse these really quick. Click the upgrade button. This one is done. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Zach, I appreciate it. I do my best. Oh, I see what the problem is. We're stockpiling, and we should probably stop stockpiling. That should, in theory, solve our problems. Now we should be backing up. As we were backing up on turbines anyways, it looks like. But we are now producing at double the speed, so who knows. Okay. All right, that's all cleaned up for the most part. Uh, I am full on stuff, so we're gonna head back to the forge. And slowly but surely, clean everything up. It's still not a real base. It's not covered in concrete yet, which I need to work on. How's our Dyson Swarm doing? 54 megawatts? That's not bad. We are receiving all 54 megawatts of power. There's so many things flying around in space now. It's awesome. Cruise ended. We've barely started. Flight mode. We've barely even begun. Da, 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 da. You know what? It deserves concrete. We deserve a little bit of concrete as a treat. We're out. Other side of the planet? Who left you on the planet? Eh.
Right, let's dump off all our stuff. Hello. Thank you. Put all our extra turrets in here. When we go to war again, that's what we'll need. We need a bin specifically for missiles or specifically for cannon shells. Let's do that. Not the most organized I've ever been, but it's not bad. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Put put these other power poles away. The actually the only power poles I still want in my inventory are the long the super long ones, these ones. And the tall and the uh substations. I, I don't think I'll ever use a normal power pole again. Or I can't think of a reason. Cannot think of a reason. I was actually watching Astral Spiff play through um, the new horror game. I don't know if it's like a new new, but it was on like an oil rig, and it was uh, it was very it was very Scottish. I think that was the correct term. It was it was not only really good, but it's funny as hell. Um, there's like a scene. A spoiler alert for this horror game if you've heard of it. Um, there's a scene where like everything's going to shit, the monsters have done their thing, whatever. And the guy's on one of the oil rig phones, he's talking to one of the other guys who's like about to die. And he's like, Well you can get up here, you just gotta make it up here, man. And he looks outside and like there's just like eldritch whatever everywhere. Um And he's like, uh he had been giving this guy a hard time earlier because he was praying. And he's like, I'll, get, I'll stay here because he had an insulin issue. So he's like, I'll stay here and get to praying and you get out there and fix what you can. And so when you finally are like, yeah, I'll just fucking get out there. He's like, uh, you know, I'm going to use some strong language here. Just a fair warning. He's like, yeah, uh, good luck, man. <laughs> like Jesus loves you, but everybody else thinks you're a daft cunt. <laughs> Both characters laughed at that. It was, despite how ridiculous the situation was, it was, it was, there was some really, really good writing. I was actually pretty fucking impressed. I can think of a few horror games that really sell themselves on just the experience and kind of don't worry about telling a story. So it was really cool to see one do a story. It's not that a horror game has to tell a story, but it was cool to see one do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, it is the end of the stream for tonight. Uh, we have made some fantastic progress. Ooh, looks like, uh, yeah, looks like we backed up. What did we back up on? What did we run out of first? Uh, raw iron plates, so we will need to put more of those into the system. That's fine, nothing wrong with that. I'm actually not that surprised. We're currently inbounding like 1,200 at a time, and we're slowly losing the battle on uh, magnets as well, so it shouldn't be too hard to up that. But if we can provide, this factory will deliver. But yeah, so far so good. We've gotten a lot done. Yeah, we're bringing in. This, this, this is uh, absolutely consuming so much iron. Yeah. 
probably also want more ships just on this system in general. But overall, we've done really well. Look at that. That is a lot of logistic ships. And we're not even mass producing logistic ships yet. This is just what I've been able to handcraft. Which clearly is not going to be enough going forward. And we're getting there. We're getting close to the point where I've automated the basic stuff. And now we need to kind of get to the advanced stuff. And again, getting the... Getting the... What are they called? The Graviton lenses automated is the top priority. That way we can warp in and out of system whenever we please. Um, and we will be able to go conquer another system. Uh, probably not Beham. Probably Kerbal, although Kerbal is starting to look like their hive is starting to get rather large as well. Um, if we can get to there before they reach like level two, or level three rather, I should be able to just knock out their hive with the Corvettes that we have. We should have, we should have Corvettes being slowly produced now. So we will eventually, and I'm stocking up a ton of microcrystalline, uh, microcrystal components. I'm gonna have a whole fucking chest of them soon. Just we're crushing down every rock we can get our hands on into silicone to make microprocessors. So theoretically, once I turn on like electronic circuit board production and get that into the system, we should be in pretty good shape. We should have, I mean, we have all the basic buildings automated and we're starting to get to the advanced buildings. Obviously we're not producing like the advanced furnaces and stuff yet but like the next thing we're unlocking is the level three replicator and then we just need to put a couple things in the system like we need micro i was gonna say that better not be full of fucking microprocessors we need the excited plasma cell i think that's what it's called that's something that needs to go into the system pretty much everything is in the system in some aspect uh, this does not have rotors. I could put rotors into the system pretty easily. We can make a little side project. What needs rotors? Is it the basic one? Is it the advanced one? Yeah, it's the advanced one. Um, I mean, we're not going to need them for a while. And we have so many of these. We'll probably still need it. So we'll see. That'll be something to consider next time. Tomorrow, I am starting a new playthrough of Monster Hunter World and another Sherpa run for another VTuber, uh, Sailor Fay. Uh, we're gonna be seeing if she enjoys the game, and then this will be this will be her first encounter with Monster Hunter. So I'm very excited. Um, hopefully, getting her through the game. I also have another group session coming up probably early November. Um, Kelly has. Kelly Minch has uh, asked me to help them just grind through the rest of the game. If you are a VTuber, I would like to... Maybe you have not beaten Monster Hunter World and you're excited for Wilds, but you'd like to polish that off. Let me know. I can try to fit you into the schedule and we can play some Monster Hunter together. Um, obviously, I'm very, very excited for Wilds and a lot of people are very, very excited for Wilds. It's going to be a big game when it comes out. That's what, kind of what I... That's kind of why I'm not buying any other games. The only game I bought recently is the new Zelda game. Um, and that is kind of just sitting on the back burner right now until we have a slot available, which will be a while. Dyson's Hero Program is taking quite a while. Uh, Yakuza 0 is a very long game. Uh, the Minecraft mod pack is still... We're still quite a ways away from breaking out of Bedrock. And then Sunday, Elden Ring isn't going to be done anytime soon. We haven't even found let alone attempted to kill like the final boss of the DLC and that's going to be brutally difficult. So we're not going to have open slots for a while, um, which means I'm just going to have to stream uh, 12 hours a day, uh, 24 hours a day, every day. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Um, I would love to. I love streaming and I love hanging out with you guys. Um, and I appreciate all of your support. It's been incredible. 
Um, streams have been very quiet lately, which I would akin to there's just a lot going on. Uh, what else? Anything else? I promoted the blue sky. Uh, quick reminder that we are doing a Armored Core 6 fashion contest. I know a lot of you like Armored Core and I haven't seen a lot of you post. So I'm just triple, double, triple, quadruple checking um, and making sure that you guys are aware that that is going on in our Discord server. If you are an Armored Core 6 fan and you want to enter that competition, please get that in. It should be ending this week or next week. When did I end? I think I ended it middle of October. Let me just double check the dates that I put down. Yeah, the 19th, so next week. That is next Saturday. So you have until next Saturday to get your Armored Core in. Uh, my Armored Core is not entering. I simply posted that as an option. So there's currently only one entrant. And I'll tell you right now, if uh, there's only one entrant, he and he, he wins, he, he wins. I, I, don't, I don't do the, we canceled the tournament only because one person showed up. The prize gets given to somebody, so. All right, I am gonna get you guys out of here. Oh, Balkuzi, welcome in. It's a little bit late. We are about to head out for the evening, and I'm going to get out of here. There's been a lot of end of stream raiding happening before we get raided by some random person. It's not random people. A bunch of very lovely people have been supporting the channel as of late. Let's see here. Let's see what Twitch recommends. I will start the raid. Uh, the raid is going to be <laughs> Dark Fog, more like Dumb Fog. Amazing. Let's see. Let's start the raid counter. It's very quiet. Hmm. Is this really uh, recommending people that are already on the list? I am going to do. Let's pick the person that I actually was uh, thinking about rating. Who is going to be. Who gets the treatment tonight? It's going to be Kelly, as I'm going to be working with Kelly in the near future. Where's the raid button? Hello? Hello? Hey. Look at that shit. Kelly McFinch. Go say hi to Kelly McFinch. They are a hilarious and fun VTuber. It looks like they are... Oh, no. They're ending their stream. No, 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 no. I'm getting out of here. I know what's about to happen. Uh, we're not going to raid them. I'm not going to do that to them. Who the fuck else can I raid? Uh... Uh... Uh, uh, we'll raid Mako Neko Arc. <laughs> uh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. We gotta go, guys. We gotta go. Get out. Somebody is using my party emote in their chat. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here tonight, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Monster Hunter World. Have a good night. Get out.